I love my country. And I love the people. This Philippines! Time to know the news of the week. I'm Pam Rances. This is the MB Rundown. Pentagon Chief Mark Esper sees President Rodrigo Duterte's decision to terminate the Visiting Forces Agreement or VFA as a move in the wrong direction. As the United States Secretary of Defense confirmed that Washington has already received the notice to terminate the military pact from the Philippine government. Esper described Duterte's decision as unfortunate, noting that the two countries have maintained its long-standing bilateral relationship. He said the U.S. government has yet to digest the notification, adding that there remains 180 working days before the agreement is officially terminated. Prior to the receipt of the notice, U.S. Department of State Assistant Secretary for Political and Military Affairs R. Clark Cooper said that the country will lose up to 300 engagements and exercises with the U.S. military which are being held annually. On Monday, Foreign Affairs Secretary Teodoro Loxin Jr. confirmed that he already signed the notice of termination of the VFA. But during the Senate Foreign Relations hearing, Loxin, Defense Chief Delphine Lorenzana and some lawmakers said the move has far-reaching consequences, especially on the country's national security and defense posture. Several groups expressed their support for ABS-CBN after Solicitor General Jose Calida filed a co-waranto petition before the Supreme Court against the media giant. In a statement, the National Union of Journalists of the Philippines, or NUJP, slammed the Office of the Solicitor General for filing the petition against the company, citing that it was a clear and direct attack on press freedom. Media groups covering various government offices also released their individual statements following Kalida's controversial move. The Malacanang Press Corps said the group firmly disapproves any attempt to curtail freedoms in any form. The Defense Press Corps also urges the Congress to renew ABS-CBN's franchise and condemn Kalida's attempt to intrude into the matter. While the Justice and Court Reporters Association, or JUCRA, aired their disapproval over Kalida's act, who called out the network's justice reporter lawyer Mike Navalio while Kalida was filing the co waranto petition. In a viral video, the Solicitor General accused Navalio of persecuting him and urged him to rather practice law instead of journalism. Student organizations from the University of the Philippines de Laman, Polytechnic University of the Philippines, and University of Santo Tomas also expressed their support for the network. Even former Senator J.B. Ejercito and Senator Nancy Binay attested the network's integrity in giving public service to the Filipino people despite its alleged attacks against their families before. Kalida's co to petition seeks to forfeit the congressional franchise of the media conglomerate, citing its highly abusive practices. But the network was firm that it did not violate the law and it has no tax liability with the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Reports said majority of senators backed the network's franchise, but the franchise bill remains pending at the lower chamber. The coronavirus outbreak poses a very grave threat according to World Health Organization or WHO Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus. This, as the death toll from the novel coronavirus outbreak in China now surged to more than 1,000 on Tuesday. We have no vaccine to prevent infections and no proven therapeutics to treat them. Tedros urged the countries to work together to combat the now-called COVID-19, which is the official name for the illness caused by the new coronavirus. The acronym stands for the Coronavirus Disease 2019, which was first detected toward the end of last year. The WHO has already sent a team to China this week for an international mission to examine the ongoing global health emergency. The International Health Organization also clarified that there is no evidence yet that the novel coronavirus is passed on through aerosol transmission. Meanwhile, the Department of Health said on Wednesday that the agency is preparing the country's mitigation mechanisms for the possibility of community spread. This, as local transmissions were already reported in some countries like Singapore, Japan, Thailand, Hong Kong, Germany, France, 
Vietnam, South Korea, and Australia. The Taipei Economic and Cultural Office, or TECO, in Manila appealed to the Philippine government to remove Taiwan from its inclusion in the travel ban amid the threats of the novel coronavirus. TECO insisted that Taiwan is not part of the People's Republic of China, where the virus originated and thousands of cases have already been confirmed. TECO also said the region is a sovereign state where it issues its own passport and visas and has exclusive jurisdiction over its people and territory. Airline companies Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, and Air Asia have already suspended inbound and outbound flights to Taiwan following the Immigration Bureau's announcement on the expanded travel ban. But Filipino workers are worried that they might lose their jobs. The Philippine government first imposed a temporary travel ban to China and its special administrative regions Macau and Hong Kong. The palace said Taiwan travel ban stays until the World Health Organization recommends lifting it. For the very first time, a non-English language film bagged the prestigious Oscars Award for Best Picture this year. The world-renowned Parasite film by South Korean director Bong Joon-ho won big at the 2020 Oscars which made a mark on the Academy's 92-year history. The film took home four Oscars, including the Academy Awards for Best Picture, Best Director, Best International Feature Film, and Best Original Screenplay. Prior to its Oscars haul, it also won numerous recognitions at the Cannes Film Festival, Screen Author Gilder SAG Awards, British Academy of Film and Television Arts or BAFTA, as well as the prestigious Golden Globe Awards. Pong Star Commentary tackles the widening gap of the nation's rich and poor, which has been wildly acknowledged by viewers around the world, including Filipinos. Even South Korean President Moon Jae-in expressed his jubilation on the film's success, along with other officials and celebrities. Bong also beat veteran Hollywood directors including Martin Scorsese and Quentin Tarantino for his Korean language movie. Despite renewed criticisms on the Oscars, social media users said that the film deserves all its success. Meanwhile, these are the other top news of the week. Pets are now allowed to ride public utility vehicles provided that they're in cages according to the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board. According to the agency's recent memorandum circular, cats and dogs are now allowed to be transported on PUVs which took effect last February 10. Two police generals who sought anonymity has tagged controversial drug war cop Police Lieutenant Colonel Jovi Espenido and President Duterte's narco list. Espinido is allegedly among the 300 police officials and personnel accused of crimes such as extortion, illegal gambling, among others. But presidential spokesperson Salvador Panelo said the palace is yet to validate the information. The Commission on Elections, or COMELEC and Bank, has affirmed the decision of its first division, declaring Ronald Cardema as ineligible nominee of the Duterte Youth Party list. In a resolution promulgated February 5, the COMELEC and Bank said Cardema's withdrawal of his motion for reconsideration solidified the ruling in the assailed resolution that unmistakably declared respondent as not eligible for representation of Duterte Youth in the government's lower chamber. Here's a quick recap of the MB Rundown for today, February 14. Pentagon Chief Mark Esper sees President Rodrigo Duterte's move to terminate the Visiting Forces Agreement as a move in the wrong direction. Several groups show support for ABS-CBN amid franchise challenge. World Health Organization Chief Dr. Tedros says the coronavirus outbreak poses a very grave threat to the rest of the world. Taiwan urges the Philippine government to lift the travel ban. And South Korean film Parasite makes history in this year's Academy Awards. And that's the MB Rundown. I'm Pam Rances.